Hi, this is Wes Overton. We're going to preview the lesson we will use to go from standard form to vertex form of quadratic functions by completing the square. In one update that is in the Alabama course of study for algebra one with probability is that students will complete the square to find the vertex form of quadratic functions. One of the major changes is they're just doing that with the leading coefficient of one. So they don't have to have like a the crazy kind of complicated ones. You know, we're just looking at problems where the leading coefficient is one. So in the process of completing square, they have just done an activity with vertex form in a graph. And so they have realized that vertex form, they should know that that vertex form is a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Well, when you complete the square, it makes sense to draw a square. And it really helps students to see that visually. That if we are completing a square, and this is x minus h squared, that we need an actual square plus some constant. So if we took one like this, so x squared plus 6x plus... 11, if I am completing the square, I know that I need an actual square plus some constant. Well, x squared is going to go up here. We know that these two boxes have to make 6x. And because it's a square, both sides have to be congruent. So the only option would be this would have to be 3x, and this would have to be 3x. So when we factor out, we have x, x, plus 3, plus 3. So we're taking this and making it a square. So what that leaves is the 3 times 3, 9 will complete our square. But we need the constant value to be 11, so that means we need two more right here. So to take this in standard form, now we have x plus 3 squared plus 2. So in this lesson, we're also going to ask students to graph these. Just do a quick sketch and give the number of zeros. So maybe something like we know this vertex would be negative 3, positive 2. It would be concave up. So just a quick sketch like this. And this one would have no zeros. So students uh, are going to get to practice that. Uh, they really do enjoy this. They like seeing that square plus a constant. So in this lesson, the ones that are required uh, through the state of Alabama are number seven. If you would like to uh, extend, uh, if you have some advanced students, you could show them ones like eight, nine, and ten. And if you're wondering how those look, uh, you would have two squares. plus some constant. Okay, so we have a x squared, x squared. There's my 2x squared. I need to make 12x, which means each one of these has to be a 6x. So I need a 3x, a 3x, a 3x, a 3x. So x plus 3, x plus 3, which will be the same thing up here, so now I have two copies of a square that's x plus 3 by x plus 3. So when I complete the square, I have 9, I have 9, so that gives me 18, which means I need to take off 10 to go back to 8. So we added 18, means we also must subtract 18, so that would be my equation in vertex form there. So that's not uh, required in the state of Alabama, but it's still Worth showing students if you have some students that are interested in that.